Blender might be on the brink of becoming the go-to choice for 3D rendering, with a new powerhouse render engine on the horizon. Recently, in their latest keynote, Chaos unveiled their plans for developing V-Ray for Blender. If you're not familiar, V-Ray is renowned as one of the most robust render engines, widely used in softwares like 3ds Max, Maya and Houdini, as well as architectural tools like SketchUp, Rhino and Revit. It's a staple in the architectural visualization industry and finds extensive use in film and game projects. Beyond its solid rendering capabilities, Chaos has prioritized streamlining workflow across applications that use V-Ray, making asset and scene exchange a breeze. This move is set to significantly simplify Blender's integration into production pipelines, potentially leading to its increased adoption in larger projects. Moreover, the integration of V-Ray for Blender could pave the way for virtual production, thanks to Chaos Vantage, a real-time ray tracing engine. Additionally, support for Chaos Cosmos, an intuitive and extensive asset library, could further enhance Blender's capabilities with thousands of models, materials and HDRIs at users' fingertips. However, Chaos's rapid expansion in recent years, including acquisitions like Corona and Enscape, has drawn parallels to industry dinosaurs like Autodesk, prompting criticism for a more corporate approach as evidenced by reactions to their latest keynote. Despite the excitement, detailed information about V-Ray for Blender remains sparse, limited to a few social media posts from the V-Ray creator and last week's announcement, as such speculation about timelines and specifics abound. Share your thoughts and comments below, I'm eager to hear your take. Although this video may deviate from my usual content, the significance of this news compelled me to cover it, given the lack of widespread coverage. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.